In this tutorial, I'll show you how to glow a rose using Photoshop. Open your image in Photoshop and choose the Object Selection tool. Draw a selection around the flower like so. Press Ctrl J to copy the selection on a new layer. Using the same tool, select the top of the flower. Press Ctrl J to copy the selection on a new layer. Select the top layer and press Ctrl G to create a group. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blending mode to screen. Go to Filter, Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. Set the blur to 5 pixels. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Double click on the Gaussian Blur Effect layer. Increase the blur to 100 pixels. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Change the blending mode to lighten. Double click on the Gaussian Blur Effect layer. Increase the blur to 250 pixels. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer one last time. Double click on the Gaussian Blur Effect layer. Increase the blur to 500 pixels. Add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the group. Click on Colorize and follow these settings. Select the background layer and add a color lookup adjustment layer. Choose Moonlight 3DL. Add a black and white adjustment layer. Lower the opacity to about 50%. Select this layer and add a Curves Adjustment layer. Clip it and follow the process. Select the mask, press B, and choose a soft round brush. Set the foreground color to black, adjust the flow, and follow the process. Add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the layer below. Select Colorize and follow these settings. Select the mask and press Ctrl I to invert it. Press B and choose a soft round brush. Set the foreground color to white, adjust the flow, and follow the process. Select the top layer and bring the starry sky to your main project. Change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl T and adjust the size and position of the image. Add a mask and press Ctrl I to invert it. Press B, choose a soft round brush, and bring back some of the stars. Ensure the foreground color is set to white and adjust the flow if needed. Follow the process. Select the top layer and add a levels adjustment layer. Clip it and follow these settings. To finish our design, add a color lookup adjustment layer. Choose Edgy Ember 3D. 
lower the opacity. That's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Also, check out other videos on my channel. Thanks for the support, guys.